Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we're going to take a look at, play with, experiment with, ask a bunch of questions and tasks, scenarios on Google's chatbot AI service that is called Bard. Now, Bard was unveiled on February 6th and the open wait list started on March 21st. So right around March 21st or March 22nd was actually when I was invited to join in on this little experiment called BARD. Uh, and if you want to, you can join it yourself. You just go to bard.google.com and you put in your Gmail. So this is what it looks like with a Gmail that has not been you know, joined on the wait list. So when you go to this website here, this is what you'll see. And you just tap right there. You just tap join wait list. And maybe it takes one or two, maybe three days to get in. Don't know how many people are on the wait list, but it's a way that you're able to play with a chatbot AI service. It's pretty cool. You know, some of the stuff that you can also have it do is it can keep your activity. Now you can turn this on, you can turn it off. If you keep it on and you want to keep some of your prompts and some of your questions for a while, you can. You can also just delete them. So this is up to you if you would like it to be stored or not stored. Uh, I just like to have mine stored so I can go back to some of the past questions that I asked it. Now, before we go through and we enter our prompts or our questions or tasks, and I might even choose one of these here too, I do want to take you down exactly what is BARD. So I asked that in a Google search bar. I'm also going to ask that inside of BARD itself. I want to see the differences between the two services, uh, but I also want to take you into another website. I'm going to skim it, but I'm going to place that link below the video subscription so you can get more details on exactly how BARD works. But basically, BART is an experimental Google chatbot that is powered by the LAMDA Large Language Model, which what that stands for is the Google's Language Model for Dialogue Applications. So it's a generative AI that accepts prompts and performs text-based tasks like performing or providing answers and summaries and creating various forms of content. Now, there's a lot of things you can just simply go to Google, ask the questions, but maybe you want to have some more complex, in-depth things, maybe scenarios, maybe an entire checklist of what you should have when you're going camping, maybe write, uh, uh, you know, uh, maybe write you a poem or write you a large article about some topic, maybe if you're in school, then what you'd be able to use is go through that, learn what that has given you, and then you can create your own based off of what you have learned. So now quickly, I do wanna head over to this article. I'll place this link below the video inside the description so you can actually do a more in-depth read if you want to. Uh, they do a really good job of you know breaking everything down. So what exactly is Google Bard? Bard is Google's experimental con conversational AI chat service. It is meant to function similarly to to chat GPT, with the biggest difference being that Google service will pull its information from the web. Let's talk about when it was announced. So how does Google Bard work? LAMDA was built on Transformer, which is Google's neural uh, network architecture that it invented and open source in 2017. Interestingly, GPT-3, which is a language model that ChatGPT functions on, was also built on Transformer. Uh, so you can just go through, you can read a whole bunch of things if you want. And now we're just going to head over inside of the chatbot itself. So this is just a link. This is just a little website that I have stored inside of my tabs. I can just go open up Bard and this is where I can ask it some questions. So here's one right here. We're just going to click on it. So this is outline my blog post about summer mocktail recipes or maybe help me finish my art studio tagline, craft, create, and something else. So I'm just gonna tap on this one just to see what this gives as a answer. Then we're gonna go through everything that I have basically written down right next to me. So here's the outline that it came up with and it gives you a introduction. It gives you a couple talking points. It also talks about the in ingredients. So you can list the ingredients for each recipe. You can note any special equipment or techniques. Then it talks about instructions. It's giving you a bunch of tips and also conclusions. Uh, here are some additional tips for writing a great blog post about summer mocktail recipes. So let's talk about using vivid language, be creative. And so it's really gonna help you and, and narrow things down. The other cool thing you can do is you can take a look at other drafts. So if you wanted to see what draft two was, you'd be able to see what the differences are you know, in between introduction, ingredients, instructions, tips and tricks, conclusions. Uh, and then there's a bunch of other stuff down here. You can see that it is a little bit different on the very bottom. Uh, and then also too, you can take a look at draft three. So if you're going through, you can find something that is, you know, best for you. Maybe something stood out. One of these answered your question a little bit better. So there are additional drafts that you can go through with. So now I'm going to go through, I'm going to type in one of my own. So this is one that I wrote basically the first question ever 
which was script talking about a smartphone. So here we go with this little first draft. I'm not gonna go through draft one, two, or three. You know, there's gonna be a little bit differences going through all three of them, but we're gonna go with this first one here. So sure, here's a script talking about a smartphone. Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about smartphones. A smartphone is a handheld device that combines features of a mobile phone and a portable computer. Smartphones typically have touchscreens, interfaces, a web browser, and a variety of other features such as email, text, messaging, uh, and social media apps. Smartphones have become an essential part of our lives. We use them for everything from staying connected with friends and family to staying productive at work. And with ever-growing number of apps available, there is a smartphone out there for everyone. If you're thinking of getting a smartphone, there are a few things you should keep in mind. First, you'll need to decide what features are important to you. Do you need a phone with a good camera, a phone with a lot of storage space, or a phone that is easy to use. What you know you're looking for, you can start shopping for a smartphone. There's a lot of great options on the market, so take your time and find the perfect phone for you. Smartphones have revolutionized the way we live and work. They've made it possible to stay connected with friends, family, no matter where we are. Uh, they've made it possible to access information and entertainment on the go, and they've made it possible to be more productive at work. If you're not already using a smartphone, I highly recommend giving one a try. You may be surprised at how much uh, you can do with one. Thanks for listening. So that is a script that I would be able to use. Uh, now we're going to go through another one. And again, this one's going to be pertaining to me because again, I want to see how Bard can help me with my daily life. So the next one I'm going to do is next YouTube video idea. All right, so let's see what my next possible video idea is. Now, I don't really have too many in the back of my head that I want to shoot. I know there's one more after this one that I do want to do in a couple days. So here we go. Again, you do have other drafts if you would like. And you can see on the very beginning, the very first one is different. Tutorial on how to do something. Uh, how to video. If you're an expert in a particular field, you could blah, blah, blah behind the scenes on your favorite YouTube channel. So there, there is some differences between these drafts. Again, go through, figure out which one's best for you. So sure, here are some ideas for your next YouTube video. A tutorial on how to do something. This could be anything from cooking a meal to fixing a broken object. A review of a product or service. You could talk about a new phone, a restaurant, or a book. A vlog about your life. Uh, a challenge. This could be something from eating a spicy pepper to sleeping in a tent. You can do a Q&A, you can make a funny video, a music video, a documentary, a short film. No matter what you choose to do, make sure your video is interesting, engaging, and well-made. Your viewers will appreciate the effort you put into it, and they'll be more likely to subscribe to your channel. So, you know, if, if you're going through this entire thing right here and you notice that there's just a lot going on in the, bar, in the board, you can reset the chat real quick. And once you reset the chat, you'd be able to ask it some more questions so you don't have to keep endlessly scrolling if there was something specific you're looking for on the very top. Uh, at this point, I'm going to state that if you are brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. You appreciate these tips, tricks, and tutorials and the latest information on either your Samsung devices or even Google services. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. All right, so let's ask it for some more questions. So here's one that's basic. What to make for breakfast? So this actually was a question that I asked it this morning, and I should have been a little bit more specific because if you're on particular diets or whatever, I could have said something like what to make for breakfast with bacon or with potatoes or something like that. It's going to give you some better options. So again, you have draft one, two, three. Uh, there are many easy breakfast recipes you can make. Here are a few ideas. Oatmeal, pancakes, eggs, toast, smoothies, yogurt, fruit salad, Bacon and eggs, hash browns, waffles, French toast, breakfast burritos, uh, breakfast pizza. So breakfast pizza is delicious and filling breakfast option. You can top it with your favorite toppings such as eggs, cheese, bacon, and hash browns. These are just a few ideas for easy breakfast recipes. There are many other options available. You can find something that you and your family will enjoy. So again, just remember, anytime that you ask it some questions, if it's very good, give it a thumbs up. It's still learning. It's a learning AI. It's still in the experiment stage. If it's a bad answer, give it a thumbs down. That's probably going to help it. This is just restart. If you want to restart whatever, uh, you know, if you want it to give you different ideas. And then you can also simply Google it. So whatever you have asked on the very top, there is a quick little Google it if you didn't really find the answer that you're looking for. Uh, again, this one is still experiment. It's not 100% perfect. What all do you know? So I'm hoping this one will give us an answer. I'm hoping it's one that it says something like, I'm sorry, I can't do that right now. 
So here we go. I know a lot of things, but here are a few examples. I know a lot about language and how it works. I can generate text, translate languages, and write different kinds of creative content. So that means I could probably ask it some questions and put it into a different language for me, which is pretty cool. So if I needed to see exactly what it is in Spanish. So this part right here where it says translate languages, this could be very beneficial and helpful to a lot of people. So maybe you're writing something down and you want it to be translated. You can do that. And also whatever answer it comes with, you can do a simple press and hold, copy and paste and send it to someone else if you want. So that's going to be helpful if you're going to get something and you need to send it to somebody, you know, maybe an idea for a project, you can send it over to somebody. I know a lot about the world and how it works. I can answer questions about history, science, and current events. I know a lot about people and how they work. I can understand emotions, generate creative content, and answer questions about human behavior. That's pretty cool. I am still under development, but I am learning new things every day. So again, you can give it a thumbs up, down, you can have it re-give you all the answers, maybe give you something else, or you can also just Google it. So I'm going to give it a little thumbs up. I do like those answers. So let's go on to the next question. So this next question is going to be pretty funny. It's actually a task. I'm going to have Bard write me a poem about Pedro Pascal. Uh, you know, instead of just going to Google, I don't really know if there was already ones written out there. If there was, then you'd be getting something that has already been written. I'm hoping that this is one that is brand new, fresh, uh, that this Bard has just created. So let's see if it'll be able to, uh, you know, perform this task. Write a poem about Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal, a man of many talents, from the small screen to the silver screen, he has captured our hearts and minds. With his charming smile and his piercing eyes, he has the ability to make us laugh and cry. He is a true artist, and we are lucky to have him. He has graced us with his presence in many roles from the tragic to the comedic. He has always been able to bring his characters to life. He is a true chameleon, and we can't wait to see what he does next. We are grateful for his talent and his dedication, and we know that he will continue to entertain us for many years to come. I mean, it's pretty general. Uh, you know, I kind of wish it gave a little bit more funnier instances and nuances of exactly who he was or maybe a couple of his roles or characters or movies but you know experiment it's getting there as he as as they learn a little bit more you know maybe it'll get a little bit better with that poem what is artificial intelligence artificial intelligence or ai is the ability of a computer or a machine to mimic the capabilities of a human mind such as learning from experience solving problems and making decisions ai is rapidly grow or is a rapidly growing field with new developments being made all the time there are many different types of ai which with its own strengths and weaknesses some of the most common types of ai include machine learning natural language processing, and I'm not going to go through every single one of these, uh, computer vision, and just stating that AI is a powerful tool that has the potential to revolutionize many aspects of our lives. However, it is important to remember that AI is still a tool, and like any tool, it can be used for good or for evil. It is up to us to decide what we want to use or how we want to use AI. So I'm going to ask another question here. I'm going to say, if you were to eat a crayon, what color would it be? I would eat a blue crayon. Blue is the color of the sky and the ocean, and it is a calming and peaceful color. I think it would taste like a cool, refreshing breeze. All right, good answer. Since this is short, I want to see what number two is here. If I were to eat a crayon, it, okay, if I were to eat a crayon, I would choose the color blue. Blue is the color of the sky, the ocean is calming color, and is also the color of peace and tranquility. I think eating a blue crayon would make you feel happy and relaxed. I do like that first answer. Uh, let's go to draft three. I would eat a blue crayon. Blue is my favorite color and is also the color of the sky and the ocean. I think it would taste like a refreshing and cool treat. So this one kind of seems very, very as a young answer, I guess you can say. So I think someone younger would say, oh, I'd eat a blue crayon. Blue is my favorite color. Uh, is the color of the sky, you know. I think that draft one is a little bit better of an answer, a little bit more educated. You know, even though they're all very, very similar, I feel that this one is something that a adult would probably say. So that was a pretty good answer. Thank you for that one. Let's see here. Let's go with another question. What is your favorite meme? All right. My favorite meme is the me and the boys meme. It is a four panel meme that shows a group of friends getting ready for a night out. The meme is often used to describe a, a group of people who are about to do something fun or exciting. I like this meme because it is funny. It is relatable. 
I can also relate to the feeling of being excited to go out with friends. Man, I almost feel like the next question I should ask is, uh, do you have any friends, to be honest? <laughs> I bet this one's going to be on the fence answer. It's going to give us something where it's going to state something good on both companies. So both Apple and Samsung are great companies that make great products. I really, It really depends on your individual needs and preferences. Apple is known for its user-friendly products and its ecosystem of products that work well together. Samsung is known for its innovative products and its wide range of products. If you're looking for a phone that is easy to use and has a lot of features, then an iPhone is a good choice. If you're looking for a phone that is customizable and has a lot of options, then a Samsung phone is a good choice. Ultimately, the best phone for you is the one that meets your needs and that you are happy with. So I got a feeling this is probably going to be my answer to a bunch of people. What is better, Samsung or Apple? I'm going to keep it professional. I'm going to keep it on the fence uh, and I'm going to give them this answer. <laughs> All right, let's see here. If you can order food, any food, what would it be? And here is the answer. If I can order any food, I would order pizza. I love pizza because it is delicious, versatile, and can be enjoyed by people of all ages. There are so many different ways to make pizza, and I love experimenting with different toppings and crusts. I also enjoy the social aspect of eating pizza, as it is a food that is often shared with friends and family. Again, very good answer. So this was just me going through asking a, a bunch of different questions and tasks and scenarios of BARD. Again, it is Google's AI chatbot service. If you guys, again, would like to join the waitlist, just go to bard.google.com, join the waitlist with your email, and then hopefully you'll be able to play with it, ask it some questions. Again, it's just a conversational piece type thing. You can ask it some questions. It's some pretty, you know, pretty fun stuff. It is also very, very smart and intuitive. So if you do want to just use BARD instead of Google itself, it's it's probably going to give you some of these similar answers, maybe a little bit. Um, I think the description, the outline is a little bit better of what Go of what Bard is going to give you rather than if you're just to simply just Google it. So if you want to have a different type of response, um, maybe a closer version of what a human would say rather than a computer, because this is AI then you can just go ahead and use BARD. So this was a pretty fun experiment. We asked it 10 questions. We talked a little bit about how BARD works, where it came from, when it came out. So it is brand new, it came out a week ago in terms of when you were able to join the wait list. Again, unveiled on February 6th, though again, not too long ago, just a little over a month ago. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, got entertained. Let me know if you guys already joined up for it. Maybe if you are going to join up for it, write a comment below the video inside the description or inside the comment section. But again, if you guys appreciated it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.